Hi, it's Julie here with my boy Flash. Today we're going to demonstrate some bony prominences and some landmarks on the dog skeleton. And we're also going to point out a couple of major muscle groups that are attached to these bony prominences on our dog skeleton. So the first one is the deltoid tuberosity. So the deltoid tuberosity um, is basically, uh, sits on the cranial aspect, oh boy, of the proximal humerus. So to locate that, we work our way from the back of the dog's skull down his C-spine. The first bony, uh, bony prominence we come across is the dorsal border of the scapula. We work our way forward of that, so cranially, and we run distally down that cranial aspect. We feel a small space or a gap, if you like, which is the shoulder joint. Um, and then we feel the head or the point of the shoulder, which is the greater tubercle. And then just below that and slightly more laterally is the deltoid tuberosity. So it has some large uh, muscle attachment there, the deltoids. And then the next bony prominence we're going to look at is the spine of the scapula. So to locate that one, uh, similar, we work our way from the back of the dog's skull with a flat hand. You find that dorsal aspect of the scapula. You find your cranial angle, which is through here. You've got your caudal angle, which is through here. So this is our scapula through here. In between those two angles, we have our uh, spine of the scapula. And at the base, so the most distal end of the spine of the scapula is actually our acromion process, which sits just here. And then we look at the wings of the ilium. So to find the wings of the ilium, we work our way down the dog's spine with a nice flat hand. We know we have, this is our thoracic spine area. Uh, last 13th rib, we then have our lumbar vertebrae and then at the end, the most caudal end of the lumbar vertebrae, we have our iliac crest. So the wings of the ilium are the most dorsal flat surface um, of, of the ilium here. So then the next one we have is the greater trochanter. To locate that one, we start with our ilium here or the wings of our ilium. We work our way more caudally. Uh, to the dog's seat bone, which is difficult to see, but it just starts here and ends there. So that's our ischial tuberosity. And then we go more cranially to that. And on the lateral surface, we will then feel a bony prominence, which is just here. And that is our greater trochanter, which also has the, the neck and the femur, the head of the femur, which then goes into our acetabulum joint. Um, the last bony prominence we're going to look at is the patella. So to locate the patella, we need to look at the cranial aspect of our thigh. So we would locate the, the iliac crest and we work our way cranially and distally down the front of the thigh. And the first bony prominence we come to is the actual patella, which is a sesamoid bone. Um, and then this sesamoid bone or the patella attaches by tendon then onto onto this section just here. Can we see that down there? Yep. Okay. So the muscles we're going to look at, some major muscle groups. The first one is the latissimus dorsi. So to locate that one, um, the origin is actually the thoracolumbar uh, fascia. So we find our thoracic area of the spine. And we've, that's our thoracolumbar junction just here. And then we have our, uh, our lumbar section here of the spine. So at this point, this is all... Uh, fascia attachment so our latissimus dorsi muscle is basically this whole section through here that attaches onto that thoracolumbar fascia and then it also runs so it stands still flashy good boy it also runs medially then onto the proximal end of the humerus so just underneath here in the auxiliary, auxiliary region um, is where it attaches up high so the proximal humerus on the medial aspect and runs through onto the, the fascia up through here. So quite a large muscle. The next one we're looking at is the biceps tendon. So at the elbow, so the origin is the supraglenoid tubercle, which is at the base of the, we find the acromion process. And we then have that space I mentioned earlier. So that is our supraglenoid tubercle. So this is the origin of the biceps tendon. And then it inserts onto both the radius and ulna so it actually crosses over the shoulder joint. I'll just move flash back a bit. Um, but on the medial aspect. So it's all on the inside of his upper forearm. Um, you can feel it. It's quite twangy. Um, and 
<laughs> Good boy, Flashy. And basically it runs down that whole section to, towards the elbow joint. Um, so then we are looking at the supraspinatus muscle. So that basically, to locate that, that sits within the, the entire supraspinous fossa of the scapula. So to locate that, we need to locate the scapula. So you start at the base of the dog's head, you work your way down the C-spine. The first bony prominence, once again, is the dorsal border of the scapula. The most cranial angle is at the front of the dog, towards the front of the dog, I should say. Towards the back of the dog is the cranial angle. And in between, um, you find that spine of the scapula again. So then the... Turn, Bubby. Good boy. So then the whole front end of the scapula, the most cranial aspect of the scapula, is the supraspinatus muscle. So that supraspinatus muscle is actually then inserts onto the greater tubercle of the humerus. So it's quite, quite a good muscle here at the front of the dog. Um, the middle blue teal is the next muscle we're going to look at, and that's located on the lateral aspect of the wings of the ilium. So we need to locate the wings of the ilium, so work our way down the spine into the lumbar spine. We find our wings of the ilium. So this is where our middle, middle gluteal attaches to, and then it inserts onto our greater trochanter, which is just here. So from here to here, that is our basically our middle gluteal. And then we look at our biceps femoris. So the biceps femoris, if you locate the ilium, you work your way down to the, the ischial tuberosity at the back of the seat bone here of the dog. Um, this is its attachment, and then it attaches onto the patella. So it's a large muscle that then crosses over laterally to the cranial aspect. Good boy. Craniolateral aspect of the surface of the, of the tibia. So just below here is where it attaches. So it goes from here all the way down to here. And then the cranial sartorius muscle, the origin is the crest of the ilium. So once again, we have our thoracic spine, our lumbar spine. We find our iliac crest here. This is where it inserts. And then it goes distally down at the cranial aspect of the thigh. So it's a nice, long, thin muscle that you feel that runs along the front of the thigh and attaches onto the actual patella itself. Um, that's all I have. So... Thank you very much and uh, we'll see you soon. Bye. Say bye Flash. <laughs>